Okay, before you watch this video, I'm gonna do a little intro here. Uh, the first one I wanted to say is make sure you unplug your flare before you do any kind of work. Any work inside the burner drawer, any work inside the drawer cover, uh, any work in the back, etc. Since we're gonna be playing around in here today, uh, make sure you flip your breaker, turn your breaker off, or unplug your flare from the wall. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is during the video I realized I was calling this, which is a drawer cover, I was calling it the drawer. But I think everybody knowing, uh, watching knows that this is the burner drawer and this is the burner drawer cover. So throughout the video I call this the um, drawer, but it's really the drawer cover. The third thing is, when I show you the spring that holds, the spring pressure holds the drawer on this side, there's an identical spring on that side that I didn't show you. So there are two springs, some drawers are missing a spring, may have lost it or fallen out over uh, the years, but there are two springs that are identical, they hook on the same place, and uh, you'll see that in the video, you'll see the one that's on this side, but I don't show you the one that's on this side. Uh, like I said, they're identical, hook them both back on, and it's applicable for, for both springs. So. Uh, with that said, I think that's all I forgot, so we'll get right into the video. Okay, welcome back to the Flare channel. Everybody's been asking about how to get the drawer cover off if it gets stuck and it, you know, it won't open. I can't open this and the drawer won't slide. Or I need to take the drawer uh, lid off for some reason. We'll show you three different ways uh, to take the drawer lid off, um, depending if you can get access to the back of your Flare or if it's say it's built in and you only have access to the front. So uh, we'll get set up and we'll be right back. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys what you're trying to overcome when the drawer will not open. This little uh, plastic button here hooks behind the plate, hooks actually behind this plate, and it allows the, holds the drawer from coming too far out like it is right now. So this is what you're trying to overcome when you're trying to get your drawer out. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can press down in the middle like this and get a small something under here, get on top of this button, then pop the drawer out, kind of like this, and it goes back in the same way if you can't get to the front. Or I'll show you another way if you're uncomfortable with pushing on the middle of your drawer. I'll show you another one in just a second to get to this button. Okay, the easy way to remove the drawer if you don't feel comfortable pushing on it is to remove this panel that has your uh, outlet in it. There are three screws, they're kind of hard to see. One is right here, I'll let my cameraman here zoom in. The second is right here in the middle. Kind of hard to see the reflection. And then the third is right over here in the same corner as the other one. Let's turn the camera around and get you a better shot. Okay, here, here's one right here. Here's the one in the middle lip. And then, oops, my finger's blocking it. And then this one right here. So these are Phillips heads. Just go ahead and remove them. We'll be right back. Okay, we've removed all three screws from the back of the oven plate here, which allows this to kind of come up and out. Keep in mind, you're attached over here. Come on in here. You're attached over here by three wires. These two top ones are fast-ons. The bottom one is a ring terminal with a screw, so you don't remove that one. If you'd like, you can just grab these fast-ons, kind of wiggle them off, each one like this. And what it'll allow you to do, here they are right here, and you'll be able to put these back on these terminals. Here's the ring terminal I talked about. You can remove this if you want, but this is a screw, so you, you have to remove these before you can get to this. I like to just let this hang here by, by this one wire. And what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw. That'll allow this plate to come off. Right behind here is that button we talked about. I don't know if you can see it in there. That little, it's probably kind of hard going to the top here. There it is, that little Delrin button. That's what you're trying to see if I pull the drawer. This is what you're trying to overcome. That's why your drawer is, is stuck and you can't uh, you know, retract it or get it out. So we'll remove these screws and panel will get back to you. Okay, we've taken out the five screws and as you can see, now this panel removes. So we'll just lay it, lay it on here. 
might be a good time to clean back here. And here's the little button that you're getting stuck against. So now what will happen is if you pick this up, you'll be able to pull your drawer out. There's two little catches on the back of this arm. This arm that's attached to the drawer right here. And then on the other arm, and then there's a spring. Don't worry about the spring. Just pull up. Let me set these inside here. Just kind of pull up like this on your drawer and it will come out. See, we're completely free now. And we can turn this over and we can unhook the spring from the drawer. Do not let this fly back inside. It'll just lay here. And that is the drawer out. And uh, we'll show you how to put it back in. Another thing to note, this is the little Delrin button right here. This, this will actually pop out. Okay, and so what we'll be doing from the back is to get in the drawer, if you have access from the back without dismantling the front here, we'll basically just reaching inside there and pushing this button out like this, which will allow the drawer to come out. And then putting the button back in from the rear. That's kind of an easy way to do it without this dismantling. But if you don't have access to the rear, you can take the drawer out just like we showed you. Now to put the drawer back in, <clears throat> rehook your spring onto here. Okay. And then this little bent over part and this little bent over part, they go on top of this plastic slider that's right there. These wheels on the drawer roll right here on your burner drawer. So the only thing that holds the drawer is the, the wheels here, which hold the bottom, and the little bent piece right here, which goes over these little plastic pieces. So come on down here and let me show you. Okay. So all we're doing is take, now we've hooked up the spring theoretically, so make sure you hook up your spring. What we're doing is just kind of getting our drawer over this. See how it kind of hooks like that? Are you watching back? You can see it good. Yeah, it kind of hooks. Just hook this one on, hook the other one on. Okay, and your drawer sets back here. Now, when you open it, if this was on, no, the drawer cannot come out. But the drawer will, with the spring, slide back in and then come on back out like this. We don't have the spring attached, so when I pull this, the drawer stays, but the, str the spring will slide the drawer back, and then the catch will slide the drawer forward. So that's how the drawer works. It just hooks over those spring pressure to pull the drawer back. Let me button this up. We'll go around the back side. It's a little harder to see because it's dark and it's in there, but basically we'll just simply be popping this button out in order to free the drawer from the front, uh, or to have the drawer come out from the front. If you have access to the back, you don't have to do all this. Okay, we're back here. We've removed the center panel to get access to the drawer and all the wiring in the back drawer. You can see my video of uh, getting access to the, to the drawer and removing the middle back panel. So we're inside the drawer. You can see the little button. It's right up there. So that's the button that stops the drawer from going in and out. So what we want to do, if I can lay this down just a tiny bit, get some light, is we want to go in. We want to be very careful because the sheet metal is sharp. Okay, so this is very sheet metal is very sharp. Do not cut yourself. This is part of the uh, crossbar uh, for the little legs. But here's your drawer. You can see it sliding, and here's your stopper button. It takes a little wiggling, but if you just kind of wiggle it eventually it'll pop up like that okay and then you can come in here and pull it out or grab some pliers and pull it out okay it went into our little burner drawer but now the drawer is free to slide out you can see here's the back of the drawer that we were talking about can you see that or my finger okay. in the way it's kind of see. In the way. Okay. see how this lifts up right here this is your drawer slide. So when your drawer goes out, this is what you're catching your drawer on top of right here. So that's why you can't get the drawer out because this ends up being against the slide and this little stop button doesn't allow you to pull the drawer out. 
But now, if you keep filming, I'll go and pull the drawer out, and you can kind of film on the left there and see. I'm going to go ahead and pull the drawer out. Ready? See how that works? Can you see those catches right there? Mm -hmm. See how they're kind of caught? So just lift up on those and pull out. And remember, you've got your spring as well back there that you'll need to attach to your drawer. Okay, I also wanted to get you a little bit better view of the spring as it connects to the drawer. Here's the spring, if you can see this right here. This is the drawer spring. It hooks onto the drawer right up there. That's where we talked about. It also hooks on right here. And you can see the spring is off. It just simply wraps right around this upper piece, this upper thing right here. And so we'll watch the spring as I open the drawer. You'll kind of see the spring work. See there, the spring pulls it back, and then I'll go ahead and pull it back in there. So that's how the spring works. Make sure you connect it to your drawer so that your drawer cover uh, gets pulled back.